Dallas Smith is a spokesperson with the Coalition of First Nations for Finfish Stewardship. He says an uncertain future for the open net salmon industry is negatively affecting the communities Finfish serves. We've seen a 40% decline in salmon farming operations in our territories over the last four years. The unemployment that is rising in our territories has led us out here today. For far too long, activist voice have been the determining factor in how government has been making decisions on this necessary industry in our territories. But it's simply not just about salmon aquaculture alone. It's about ocean planning. It's about marine management. Speaking at the same press conference, Isaiah Robinson of Kittisu Hey Hey's Nation talks about what the industry means to his community. This overall industry supports 99% employment rate within my community and 51% of its overall economy is represented within this sector. It makes no sense to shut this industry down. There is no industry that can fill this space for us in such a remote community in British Columbia. Opponents of open net salmon farms say the industry is depleting stocks by spreading parasites such as sea lice. In the 2019 election campaign, the Liberals pledged to phase out the fish farms by 2025 and instead move to land-based ones. Earlier this month, another group of First Nations was in Ottawa to pressure government officials to make good on this commitment. But on Tuesday, Finn Fish released its own report that says the industry is viable with the assistance of new technologies. We need to continue to look at transitions to limit the impacts on wild salmon. The technology is changing on a regular basis and one of the things we're doing is we're in discussions with British Columbia to talk about the infrastructure needs of bringing more technology forward. The lack of hydroelectricity in a lot of these remote communities is really a barrier to some of the new technologies being implemented. Fisheries Minister Diane Leboutier has yet to release a promised draft transition plan for the industry. Fraser Needham, AP10 National News, Ottawa.